heard a six the gang really sh did all up the track. I know you heard a six the gang really did all up the track. Homicide, know my name, top enforcer of the Kimberly. Homicide, know my name, top enforcer of the Kimberly. Bitches, you hear me? You need hoes. It ain't like that. Ain't gonna kill nothing, ain't gonna let shit happen. You hear me? Thanks, man. You nigga bitches. We the ones who got this city shook, man. In the last few minutes, Baton Rouge police have arrested this man, Rashawn Alexander, in connection with a deadly shooting. Baton Rouge police say he's facing charges in the death of 35 year old Nicholas Williams. You may remember Williams was found shot to death along Aliquippa Street on the night of March 5th. Those charges he's facing should be being updated in the 9 News app as we speak. As the drill and street rap genre continues to rise in popularity, more and more rappers are coming out that aren't really rappers. These rappers are really killers that do music on the side, and they typically use their music to brag about their killings. The subject of today's video is no different. The subject of today's video is a shooter from Baton Rouge, Louisiana that publicly claimed to have killed five people on his Instagram story and is currently in jail on murder charges. The subject of today's video is none other than Hot Boy Do, and today we're going to be telling his story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Hot Boy Do, real name Rayshawn Alexander, is from New Orleans, Louisiana, but he moved to Baton Rouge. He is a member of a set called 60 Gang. 60 Gang is closely allied with TBG, made famous by the rappers Fredo Bang and Lit Yoshi, and they also are allied with the Bolitas. The Bolitas are a gang that primarily consists of members from the Glen Oaks and the Zion City areas of Baton Rouge. 60 Gang primarily beasts with NBA slash 4KT, made famous by the rapper NBA Youngboy, and they also beef with a gang called the Vultures, which consists of members primarily from the Bankstown area of Baton Rouge. Eventually, all of this beef would lead to bloodshed, and Hot Boy Do would find himself at the center of it. On October 25th, 2021, a member of the Vultures named YKW IHF Ka, real name Malachi Demolin, was sitting in his Dodge Challenger in the parking lot outside of a Holiday Inn when gunfire erupted. Witnesses heard fully automatic gunfire, most likely coming from a switch, and in the aftermath, Ka was tragically found dead at just 23 years old. A Baton Rouge rapper and member of the Bleeders named Ko Bleeda hinted in a song that he, a member of 60 Gang named KJ, and Hot Boy Do were allegedly the three gunmen in this incident. 60 Gang KJ is currently locked up facing murder charges for another incident. As I mentioned earlier in the video, 60 Gang beats heavily with NBA slash 4KT, and one of NBA's most well known members is a man named NBA Ben 10. On December 3rd, 2021, at around 11.30 p.m., deputies were called to the scene when a truck was not moving in the middle of I-10 westbound near Prairieville. The vehicle had been shot multiple times, and inside the vehicle, police discovered a male that had passed away from gunshot wounds. That man was found in the passenger side of the truck and turned out to be NBA Ben 10's cousin Marvin. Ben was in the driver's seat of the car and was taken to the hospital, but he survived his injuries. It is widely rumored that members of both the Bleedas and 60 Gang were allegedly responsible for this incident. Following the death of his cousin, NBA Ben 10 started a campaign with the slogan, Put Shit Up For Cuz, vowing revenge for his cousin. Hot Boy Do would mock Ben for this on social media and in his music, claiming that Ben still hasn't got any get back for his cousin. Said he put the shit up for cuz a nigga turning in his case. Every time they use the hashtag in a motherfucker catch. Do first tonight. Police are investigating a deadly shooting near the Mall of Louisiana. Police have confirmed two people were killed from what Baton Rouge police say was a targeted shooting. Eventually, after all of this death, Hot Boy Do would suffer two losses of his own. On February 25th, 2022, a member of the Bleeders named True Bleeder, his friend Cliff, and two others were leaving the Mall of Louisiana when they were spotted and followed out. 
as they were leaving at around 1.45 p.m. and driving down the intersection of Blue Bonnet Boulevard and Picardy Avenue, a car pulled up next to them and opened fire. All four of them were inside the car when they were ambushed and tragically, True Blita and his friend Cliff were declared dead at the scene. The two other people with them were able to survive and were taken to the hospital with moderate injuries. The attackers reportedly left their own bullet-ridden car behind and were picked up in a separate getaway vehicle. A little over a month after this incident, a member of the vultures that goes by the name Dubug was arrested and charged with both murders and both attempted murders. Dubug's real name is Demetrion Grimm and he was faced with two counts of first degree murder, two counts of attempted first degree murder, and illegal use of a weapon. Ultimately, the charges against Dubug were dropped due to a lack of evidence and he was set free. The losses of True Bleda and Cliff would hit Hot Boy Do hard. In late 2022, the most famous rapper in Baton Rouge and leader of NBA slash 4KT named NBA Youngboy started a campaign called Stop the Violence, which called for all of the bloodshed in the streets to end. A charity event in Baton Rouge was held months later that had multiple key members from the rival gangs in Baton Rouge around each other in a peaceful manner. Hot Boy Dew was one of the people in attendance, and he was around some of his main ops like OG3 and Herm, who are both NBA slash 4KT members. Well, sadly, it would turn out that this whole campaign and movement was just a sham to avoid RICO charges and get off of the police radar, as shortly after this, Hot Boy Dew would allegedly commit the murder that currently has him locked up. New for you at noon, one person is dead after a shooting on Aliquippa Street. Baton Rouge police officers were called out to the scene near Plank Road around 8.40 Sunday night. They found 35-year-old Nicholas Williams shot to death. On March 5th, 2023, a man by the name of Nicholas Williams was shot and killed on Aliquippa Street off Plank Road at around 8.40 p.m. A little over two weeks after this, Hot Boy Dew was arrested and charged with his murder. He was officially charged with first-degree murder, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, possession of marijuana, and illegal use of a weapon. When news of his arrest was officially announced, a random woman went online and started celebrating and accused Hot Boy Dew of being the one that shot her. The woman would clarify her comments under someone's IG post and stated that Hot Boy Dew shot her in an accident while he was trying to shoot and kill a member of 4KT. These crazy charges that Hot Boy Dew is facing could have him spend the rest of his life in prison. Let me know what you guys think about this situation in the comment section and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.